Welcome to Roberts Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Vandal Swarm initiated. Warning, there are multiple hostiles inbound. Currently there is a resurgence in space dogfighting sims as it makes a perfect fit for virtual reality. Arena Commander is a dogfighting module which has been released to those who have pledged money into the development of the upcoming Star Citizen game. In this preview we are only focusing on how this very early alpha build looks and plays in VR on the Oculus Rift Development Kit 1. Target acquired. When you play a space sim such as Arena Commander in VR, it's easy to see why it makes perfect sense that this game genre is seeing a comeback, as being able to look around your cockpit and track enemy fighters is extremely immersive and Star Citizen excels in making you feel fully immersed. The cockpit you pilot is pretty much a goldfish bowl as almost everywhere you look you can see glass panels that allow you a great field of view. The tracking HUD is a holographic projection that sits just a couple of feet in front of you and shows a globe with enemy positions that is intuitive to follow. Your ship status is projected to the top left of your view and the enemy data is displayed to the right. Overall, the sparse layout of the cockpit feels perfect as when you are dogfighting or dodging asteroids, having a line of sight to the enemy is a big advantage over having a cluttered cockpit. Blocking your view could be the difference between life and death. By default, Arena Commander is set up to be played with a keyboard and mouse as it has a lot of keys assigned to different controls and commands. Playing this in the Oculus Rift, you cannot view your keyboard so the only alternatives are to either play with a full flight stick setup or an Xbox controller. Unfortunately, I don't have a flight stick so I played with the Xbox controller and this has caused some issues. The first minor issue I had was that the left stick controls your ship's pitch and yaw as you would expect, but if you hold down the left trigger it also controls the roll of the ship. This took a bit of getting used to as most other space sims would assign the right stick for roll control. The right stick in this instance controls your camera view, which is unneeded if you're wearing a rift as you can simply turn your head. Target acquired. Another issue I seemed to be having was with launching missiles. I would easily lock on to an enemy pressing the Y button, but to launch the missile you need to release the Y button, which seems pretty easy, but if you are also rolling the ship with the left trigger at the same time you want to fire a missile, a flare would be triggered as the command on the controller for flare drops is left trigger and Y. This was a major annoyance when I first started to play and would usually be quite easy to fix, but Arena Commander has no options for letting you set up your own button config and you have to play with the default settings. One other issue with this alpha build for VR is that the flight helmet is displayed in rift mode and is not shown in stereo with the rest of the game. If you turn your head far enough to either side you will see the side of the helmet and this blocks your view. There is no option in game to switch this off but thankfully a quick fix was published by some community members which involves creating a CFG file and adding it to the game install folder. Without this fix this preview build would be almost unplayable in the rift. Arena Commander 
Commander looks amazing using CryEngine 3, but you will notice quite a lot of pop-up at the outer edges of your view as you fly around in VR mode. It's not especially bad for an alpha build, but it is noticeable and breaks your immersion slightly. The cockpit looks very crisp in the rift and you don't need to read any text on the HUD display as everything is represented graphically, however you will have to switch to monitor mode if you want to change any game settings as the menus are not set up for viewing in VR. Overall, Arena Commander is not optimised fully yet for the Rift and this is understandable as Star Citizen has thousands of backers and the vast majority of them don't have headsets. Even though this alpha build has some basic VR support, it's still massively impressive and outshines most other experiences you can currently play in VR. This is just a taste of what is to come and I'm sure the issues I covered are easily fixed and I for one will definitely be picking this up on day one when it's released. enjoy this review please visit our website virtualrealityreviewer.com for more demo reviews and please remember to hit the subscribe button